Yo, welcome to feeding time. I am the big guy, Ryback. We are doing a switched up the days that I'm recording this for this week because um, I got to do some other stuff Sunday. But uh, I got the new spicy, the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, bacon chicken sandwich here. And as you can see, I know I'm a little further back. We got all the, so everyone can see the food. We got the, the, shoot, almost no cussing. Got the spicy chicken, the jalapenos. We got bacon. We got their, their, looks like a spicy sauce and some cheese. Not the best put together burger or chicken sandwich ever, but I bet you I'm still going to like it. I'm sure if this the CEO was here, if Dave Thomas was still alive, he wouldn't want the commercial to be seen like this. But I mean, it still, it still looks good. And we got some nice fries here. Those Wendy, oh, mm, mm-hmm. My eyes just shut. Mm. I just took my GTS go to sleep a little bit ago. So the energy levels are starting to come down. Because we're getting to bed. Got a lot to do. Oh, the new Wendy's spicy bacon chicken sandwich. All week off from the gym. No weights, just cardio. Still freaking jack. See my bite marks. Jalapenos are a nice touch. Little sweat. There's a little bit of heat in that. Not a lot, but my tolerance is a little different right now. A second, guys. What are your favorite fries? McDonald's, is it Burger King, Del Taco, the crinkle cut fries, the Wendy's potato fries, and an out burger fries, potato wedge fries from Fat Burger. So many different fries out there. Leave in your comments what your favorite fries are. And remember, guys, just because they're your favorite fries, like if you go, Wendy's are my favorite fries, that doesn't mean everyone else's fries suck. Or the people that like the other fries suck. Okay? We're going to work on this. We're going to help you guys. We're going to teach you youngins. 
and you old hens, old cocks that never, never learned along the way, whether it was from bad parenting, stubborn attitude. Yeah. Big guy, uncle, uncle, big guy here is here to help you. Fair but stern, stern but fair. Yeah. The cool uncle, but I also I, I kick some major. Kid don't want to cuss. We're not cussing anymore, guys. I'm sure I'm gonna mess up from time to time, but and I know some of you're gonna be mad at that, but I don't care anymore because I'd rather people see my videos. Start falling into that algorithm again. I need to do some real food challenges. I can eat a lot of food. I don't like to do the, like, the Matt Stoney stuff because I just think that's so unhealthy and I've heard he throws up after and I think he's inhuman. He does things that nobody else in the world can do. But I'm not willing to sacrifice my health to that level on that. That just to me is too much for me. He's got those those little Asian genetics. He just can eat anything. Guy doesn't, but he also throws it all up. See, I don't like to do that. I, I digest everything like an anaconda. Just I eat it and I just let it sit. I've broken up so much scar to scar tissue. Scar Sir, I need more information. I've got one more round. Yes. This isn't a little B channel, huh? Those other food reviewers who Dane drops, Review Bra. Is it Review Bra? Review Bra, Report of the Week. Joey's World Tour. What is it? The Hodge Twins, the Bell Light. Bell Light eats quite a bit. Some stuff. We eat, though. When we do a food review, you got to have more information. Can't, like, just take a bite of the burger and tell you my thoughts. I need to consume a good amount, let it sit, talk about a bunch of stuff that's not relevant to anything with the food, and then give you my thoughts really quickly on the food. Ooh, this one's piping hot. Ooh, this one might be better. This is, this, I don't know why this one's so much hotter. Diving in. Wow. This one's way fresher. And I wouldn't have known that. But it's way hotter too. So that other one had to have been sitting out. And they made the other one fresh. That's going to go into the review. If you go get this, order, ask them to make it fresh. Wait. Well worth it. The other one's good, don't get me wrong. This one's way better. Man. I've broken up so much scar tissue in my shoulder, though. Ever since I started seeing the Asian massage therapist for three hours every week. I call her my little miracle worker. She like reads and learns more about like my, my injuries and then comes back the following week for our session and like does new tricks on me. And not like that, but like for the, like for this, like this past week, my elbow, there's a nerve that connects into the, the inside elbow and, and on the outside too, there's two different, there are two different ones, but that run into the shoulder and they're like stuck and it's all connected from all this stuff. So much stuff has gone wrong. It was so painful. Like I can't even, a couple times I, I had to tell her, I go, oh, okay, 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 okay. Like that. Like, cause I try not to, and I'm like fighting it. Cause I feel like a little bee while she's massaging. Like I feel like cause this little Asian woman, but like she's just trying and she has to, like, it's just more and more pressure. And like the more you, fight it and I'm trying to breathe and relax. It's like, 
but the pain, and it's like, I feel, you feel it in your brain. It hurts that bad and just all throughout your body. And like, I finally, there was like, there was like one or two times and she, and she just kept going harder and harder and I was getting angry, but I was trying to stay calm, like almost hulked up. And I, I, I go like, but like, I couldn't like even say it manly because I was in so much pain. It really came out. I was like, cause I was like, and like, I try to make noises to like show her the pain I'm in. But she doesn't care. She's just there to fix me. So she doesn't care about my pain. She just cares for the result. And I like that. I like it. But it hurts at times. I have a high pain tolerance. And I'm like, ah, ah, and, ah. and she's massaging and they, she keeps going. She wouldn't stop. And finally, okay, 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 okay. She laughed and she stopped. I needed it. I couldn't take it anymore. But I'm found the areas. Like I just, I do about four or five times a day on my softball for 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes when I can. I've broken up so much scar tissue. My range of motion on my shoulder gets better every week. That's the remaining issue. It's the scar tissue. Crazy. Even the rehab, like my shoulder is not hurt me more, the muscle. It's the scar tissue stopping it from moving properly in certain areas and just mad, it just feels so good. It's like the timing of everything, like just is so perfect. And things that I had done that weren't working before are working now because the order had to be done a certain way. Timing of everything, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. That one even was spicier, I feel like. Look at this. I do have a wig here. Glasses. I got a judge's outfit and a judge's hammer. A little mallet. I think we're going to do a thing on Instagram and download it for YouTube. The Marks Court with Judge Ryback. Tell me what you think about that. I think that's going to be a real hit. We got Neanderthal eating coming up. That's going to be a real doozy. No talking in that, by the way. Just straight savage. Neanderthal Ryback gets zapped into 2020 and appears on video. And I don't, I, I'm gonna go into a place I haven't been in many, many, many years. Since my, my caveman days. Man, those caveman days were so good. You guys think like the technology makes things better, it doesn't. We used to, you know, the thrill of hunting and coming back and the women just adoring your muscular, manly body. And we were hairy, so hairy. I don't like body hair now, but back then, I thought it was cool. I would just go to different caves every night because there were no rules. You just did whatever. I'm sure there were some other cavemen that you respected, so you didn't do that. But for the most part... It was a free-for-all. And the more food that you were able to gather, the more caves you could essentially visit. It's a great thing. But Neanderthal eating, we're going to bring that guy back. See what happens. Hopefully he doesn't get me kicked off YouTube. He doesn't know the rules of 2020. Look at these fries. They hit the spot. This was a good meal.
We're gonna get the views back up on this thing. We're gonna make this channel a home run again. I tried to fight the cussing. Couldn't do it. They're winning. Can't let them win. We need to be seen by as many people as possible. Otherwise, my theory of WWE suppressing all my social media is 100% true, which I know it's true on Instagram. For a fact. And I don't care what anyone says, I know. And I've been told some things that's pretty upsetting. But it is what it is. But on here, we're going to keep trying things until we rule out every other thing. Oh, because your videos just don't go from getting hundreds of thousands of views, one over a million, to like five to 10,000. Doesn't just happen for no reason, right? So we got to figure it out. I'm not going to complain about it. We're just going to figure it out. stuff against a wall. I don't know what else. I'm going to flip a couch over or something. Mm. All right. That was the new Wendy's spicy bacon chicken sandwich. I had a... I think it was seven something per sandwich. That was the sandwich alone, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got an order of large fries with each one. It's 20 something dollars. I would imagine if you got the fries and a drink and the whole meal, probably and that's, that would be enough for most people. You're probably spending, I don't know, 10, $11. It's worth it. That is, uh, especially if you like spicy stuff, that sauce on that's really, really good. The, the, and I will tell you, if you're going to get this, get it made fresh, ask him to make it fresh for you makes all the difference in the world. The bacon even was crispier. It was hotter. The spice just came through better on that second one uh, and with the jalapenos and everything. And the first one was good, don't get me wrong, but you never know, you can get different, you know? You wanna get it fresh at all times. Anything, I think, when you order it. Yeah, it's not, usually if you go to fast food places and just ask, can you please make this fresh? I think they'll do it most of the time. There's always going to be those people that were that won't, but if you care in it really hard, you Jeffrey it, you could really probably get your way. Um, or if, I should say you shouldn't do that. You should, if you're polite and ask, and then if they don't, then you can care in it, Jeffrey them. Um, out of 10 stars, I'm giving that. I'm giving it nine and a half stars. <laughs> Just because I, it was, uh, that's a great score, by the way, but you want to make sure in the fresh, the fresh one, 9.8, but we'll give them 9.5 overall with all of that and uh, well worth it. That was, that was really delicious. I think you guys, if you, you guys are going to like that one. And again, I got to say, don't eat this stuff all the time, guys. I did 80 minutes of cardio today. Even though I'm not not working out, no weights this week because of the stem cells in my leg, which went amazing, by the way. Thank you guys all for asking. And uh, no, I feel really good. So check that out. That was the Wendy Spicy Bacon Chicken Sandwich. Also in the comments, take a look for my Feed Me More Nutrition. This is the final week here, guys, for my $2,000. I'm giving away $2,000 this upcoming Saturday. Contest, contest ends Friday, August 28th at midnight. Use code FEEDME2000 on FeedMeMore.com. You get 20% off and an automatic entry into the contest with your order. It's, uh, we've, uh, we've given out thousands of dollars during COVID and uh, for people just using what I believe to be the best supplements on the planet. July was our biggest month we've ever had. And uh, so I'm all right giving back uh, with these contests and sharing some of the profits 
because uh, I think it, it does a good thing of, one, I'm a business, so and, and I got stuff I need to, to hit as a business, but it's also, I think, a fun way uh, to have a little excitement for people uh, every week or two, however long we do them. Uh, and, uh, and it gets people to try my supplements, and then they realize that this stuff is really good, so it's kind of a win-win overall on everything. It's been a real hit. So I thank all of you guys that are that are buying the stuff and appreciate your love and support as we continue to grow. It's been an amazing journey just from even the last 14 months have been unreal. Unreal? So anyways, guys, I won't take up any more of your time. Have a good night, please. Stay positive. Keep going. Stay strong. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days, guys. Just get to bed. Get up. Get up and, and find a way. Just you got to find a way. You got to, and there's, I, I've lived it. And in all the most successful people in the world, it's all life is, is just overcoming BS. That's all that it is. And that's the people that learn to handle that the best are the people that tend to do the, the, the to do big things with their lives or live the lives that they want to live. Because there's no right or wrong way on different things. It's just what you go after. But it's all overcoming things. It's all that it is. We're all human. We're all made up of the same stuff. We all, we live, we die. Bad things happen to us in between those times. Some of us live longer than others, but things that happen that are, that can be bad, you can make positive. And I know there's some screwed up stuff, I know. But it's the ability to overcome the bad things as quickly as possible. And to just keep marching forward, I'm telling you. And because the world, the way that it is, I feel we all just I have reminders everywhere. Cause it's and it helps so much. So the big guy's pulling for you. Just know that. Cause we all gotta pull for each other and, and do our best. All right? All right. Stay hungry, my friends. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.